Hi, I'm Clara. I'm back here to continue our tutorials of SIPCAD software. We'll introduce the nest function. Let's import a file now. Sometimes we'll cut some required graphics like this kind. We can apply the nest function to adjust the cutting layout. Select the graphic one by one, click right key of the mouse. We add the graphic to part list and choose the required quantity. Like the circle, it asks to be three. We choose the count three. Over here, we can see the parts we just added. After add to part list, we can check the part by double clicking it. Then we can nest all parts now. Let's click the nest here and the parameters prompt. Below the standard place, we can input the place size or choose one. Parameter here, we just keep them still. We can see the nest results. It has nested all parts we just added. Please attention, the nest function building SIPCAD supports 50 parts and 20 nest results maximally. So if you need a more advanced nesting function, you can check the exclusive nesting software from Friendesk company. Let's go to CNC. First is find edge. Click the icon, we can get the parameter setting box. When we are trying to use the capacitive find edge, three steps to go. First, we need to input the sheet physical size and the margin we want. Second, the strategy to find edge. If the plate we are cutting is thin, we suggest the six point find edge. The precision will be much higher. Third, to choose the start point. Attention here, no matter which way we choose, please make sure there is mental plate under the cutting head, which means the cutting head is within the plate space. A start from preset position enables to find edge from a fixed position. We can find the suitable position from the directions here and save it as the start position to find edge. Attention here, before finding edge, we need to make sure first one go a region. Second, the placement angle of mental plate should be less than 10 relative to the machine XY axis. Third, the cutting head could follow normally. Detail sighting here enables to adjust some default parameters, but please be cautious to change them. We suggest the default values. Task will help us to save and load the interrupted cutting. Let's imagine we are cutting a very complicated graphic and it will take around a half hour. When the cutting runs about 10 minutes, we need to insert a very urgent cutting, so we stop the current cutting and save it as a task. When we finish the urgent cutting, we can load in the task and continue the cutting. Return origin. We suggest to make return origin every time we start up the software. There are several options at the drop down menu. If the machine has operated for a period, probably the gantry will get a little crooked, which will decrease the cutting precision. So we need to apply initialize dual drive gantry to make the adjustment. 
After the initial dual drive gantry, we can check the compensation comparison if we take initialized gantry when return origin. Attention here! Please run the initialized dual drive gantry regularly, like a month or others. We can choose ZX first to return origin. If we configured the autofocus cutting head, we can choose autofocus included. It will make the fourth axis to return origin as well. Path will help us to test the deviation between motion position and physical mechanical motion position. A laser interferometer is required, but it's likely not necessary for the small tables like 1530 or 2040. So here we just pass it. The bore bar is the same as path. It's cooperated with a bore bar to test the mechanical precision, exclusive for circles cutting. BCS Android will check details of the height controller. It's demo, so I cannot find more, so we just pass it. QCW will help us to set some parameters when the machine is configured with the QCW laser source. When we click the error mirror, the cutting head will travel the cutting graphic path. And there will be blue words downside to show the encoder's feedback. It will help us to check whether the servo motors have been adjusted correctly, and we can also set the cutting parameters based on the feedback. Gantry error monitor is to monitor the dual y axis deviation. Do you have issues on your laser machines? Please put it in the comment below or contact us directly. Subscribe me here so that you get noticed as soon as I upload a video for you. Thank you. Bye.